Today, we explore the captivating universe of Frank Herbert's science fiction masterpiece, Dune. First published in 1965, this novel has stood the test of time, influencing countless works in the genre. Dune is not only a story of adventure and intrigue, but also a rich tapestry of themes, including politics, religion, and ecology. Our journey through this novel will reveal its intricate plot, compelling characters, and the profound ideas that make it a cornerstone of science fiction literature. Dune is set in the distant future, where the known universe is ruled by a feudal interstellar empire. The story unfolds on Arrakis, a desert planet, and the only source of the most valuable substance in the universe, the spice melange. The spice extends life, enhances mental abilities, and is vital for space navigation. The novel begins with the young Paula Trides, whose noble family is preparing to leave their lush oceanic world, Caladan, for the harsh desert planet of Arrakis. The Atrides have been ordered by the Emperor to take over the spice production on Arrakis, a task previously managed by their bitter rivals, the Harkonnens. Unbeknownst to the Atrides, this transfer is part of a complex plot by the Emperor and the Harkonnens to destroy them. Upon their arrival, Duke Leto Atrides, Paul's father, tries to gain the trust of the native Freemen, a fiercely independent tribe of desert dwellers. The Freemen have a complex culture and a deep spiritual connection to their harsh environment which they believe is guarded by giant sandworms, creatures central to the production of spice. Meanwhile, Paul grapples with visions of the future and his potential destiny. He is trained in various forms of combat and political strategy and has been secretly taught the ways of the Bean Gesserit, a powerful and secretive sisterhood to which his mother, Lady Jessica, belongs. The Bain Gesserit possess advanced mental and physical control techniques and have a long-term breeding program to produce his super-being, the Quisitz Hatterach, whom they believe Paul might be. The Harkonnen trap is sprung, and Duke Leto is betrayed and killed. Paul and Jessica escape into the desert, where they are taken in by the Freemen. Paul embraces his role among them, adopting the name Muad'Dib. He learns their ways, including riding the giant sandworms. His visions grow more intense, and he starts to understand his role in the universe's future. Paul discovers that the Fremen have been secretly cultivating vast amounts of water for a plan to transform Arrakis into a more hospitable world. He also learns that spice production can be controlled by the giant sandworms, giving him a powerful tool to challenge the Emperor and the Harkonnens. As Paul's power and influence grow, he leads the Fremen in a massive uprising against the Harkonnens and the Emperor. In a climactic battle, he defeats the Harkonnen forces, and through a complex series of events, he confronts the Emperor. Paul's victory is complete when he demonstrates his control over the sandworms and the spice, essentially holding the entire universe's economy in his hands. The novel concludes with Paul seizing the throne, becoming the new Emperor. He marries the Emperor's daughter for political reasons, but remains emotionally loyal to Chani, a Fremen woman he loves. The novel ends with the implication that Paul's rise to power will lead to a violent galaxy-spanning jihad, fulfilling his terrifying visions. Dune is more than just a science fiction epic. It's a complex exploration of politics, religion, and human nature. Herbert creates a universe where feudal politics and advanced technology coexist, providing a rich backdrop for the story. The novel examines the corrupting influence of power and the dangers of charismatic leadership. One of the novel's central themes is the interplay between human destiny and free will. Paul's visions of the future suggest a predetermined path yet he constantly struggles with the choices he must make to reach that future. This tension reflects the broader conflict between human agency and the forces that shape our lives. Herbert's portrayal of ecology in Dune was groundbreaking. He meticulously details how the Fremen adapt to their environment and their efforts to change it. This ecological narrative is a powerful message about the impact of human actions on the environment, a theme that remains highly relevant. The book also delves into the intersection of religion and politics. The Freeman's messianic beliefs about Paul are skillfully woven into the plot, highlighting how religious and political motives can intertwine and influence societies. Dune is a novel that transcends its genre, offering a profound commentary on various aspects of the human condition. Its intricate plot, well-developed characters, and thematic depth make it a must-read for not only science fiction fans, but anyone interested in a deeper understanding of power, destiny, and our relationship with the environment. 
Thank you for joining us in this exploration of Frank Herbert's Dune. If you found this journey enlightening, please consider subscribing to our channel for more literary insights and summaries. Your support helps us continue to bring these timeless stories to life.